little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league, and right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. Now Denver's starting five. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Porter in at the three. Just two to shoot. Really left him alone that time. Good awareness by Murray. Sees a hole in the defense and feeds the guy ready to exploit it. Screen by Holgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 119 left in the first quarter. And Chet Holmgren hits from deep. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. Murray for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Not played in their previous game on their schedule, losing to the Cavs. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the shoot case if you're going to win That's on the road, and they simply did not bring it. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Murray, no good. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Unloads. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist by Porter. You have to watch Murray closely at the perimeter. He won't hesitate to flex his range. And that one's good. Holmgren. Holmgren's got five now. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. William shot is good. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. It's a tie game in Oklahoma City. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And what do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. On the court for Denver, we've got Christian Brown, Reggie Jackson out there with Nikola Jokic, and it's Watson in at the four slot. Jackson outside. Off target from outside. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? B.A., he has taken that step from star to superstar, simply stated. I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams. The ability offensively to attack at three levels and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor, this guy is something special. Here's Gordon. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Denver Nuggets. On Monday, they'll head home to take on the Utah Jazz. Then on Wednesday, they'll be taking on Rudy Gobert and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Second quarter of basketball, about a minute played so far. Joe misses. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Three-pointer off the mark. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. And Jokic picks him up defensively. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. SGA from distance. <laughs> and great awareness. Holmgren's so good at reading the movement of his teammates. A very heady passer for a big man. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Now 
here's Caldwell Pope. The three ball. Joe grabs the miss. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Williams. Three pointer. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Denver has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Here's Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And he makes a first. Good on both. 11 seconds left in the second quarter. Let's go with a three. Buries it from three. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points here in the quarter. Oh, boy, how slippery is SGA on the triple drive? Just so difficult to stay in front of him. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Thunder. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Here's a hypothetical. If you guys were in your prime today and could hop onto any team, who would you pick? And fellas, you take a look at the Nuggets. A close game so far through the first half. Well, how is this game close? I know it's becoming a jump shooting lead, but you gotta... Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third... we've got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game you have to like what we're seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander I love how effortlessly he scored the game just comes so easy for him now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way he certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that in it forward it's Dordan Williams Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Kitty, and it's Holmgren in at the five. That's the group from Mark Dagnall starting the second half. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the Thunder are still developing with Shea Gilgis Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, quote, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Well, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Ali. And finally getting to full strength last season, the Nuggets showing how great they can be, Grant. Well, the franchise's first ever championship, EA. And you look at all their top players just entering their primes. Plenty of runway left ahead of them. Murray from outside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Dort for three. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Well, just finding the open man and making sure it's on time and on target. This is who Josh Giddy is. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Nuggets. Trailing by 10. Pass to Jokic. Looking to end the run. Oh, what range from the big man, Jokic. And he wastes no time coming out of the break. The Thunder have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. The shot by Dort, no good. The Nuggets have gone just one of three in the second half. Caldwell Pope finds Murray. The three is up. Dort grabs the miss. Oklahoma City has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Dort outside. Williams on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. And Holmgren with the basket on the assist from Williams. Holmgren's gotten four this quarter. Oh, that's a pretty bounce pass. Nice. So it's Oklahoma City. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. They've done well to disrupt the... And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. 
Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. On the court for Denver. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the five spot. Gilgis Alexander, great D that time from Jokic. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Dort against Murray. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Gordon with it. Outside Murray. And the shot goes down. Boy, don't you love to see Aaron Gordon make these kinds of decisions. This guy is fully capable of recognizing open teammates. Gilgis Alexander finds Holmgren. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. You know, they barely needed other contributions. This lead has been built through his offense. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. There's the three. Knocks it down from distance. The confidence on full display. Murray recognizes ahead of time when to shoot off the catch. Williams a screen on Murray. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Checked by Gordon. Gilgis Alexander. Good. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Jokic. Oh, he's a load inside. Jokic finishing strong. It's almost too easy for Jokic inside. His size and soft touch make short work of the shot. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Looking to close things out. That might have been the nail in the coffin. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. The three on target from range. And now an 11-point Oklahoma City lead. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. It's clear there's a lot of pride on the line in this one. Absolutely. When someone makes a shot, the first thought is, I want my own back. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. There's the triple. Off the mark. And so it's Oklahoma City winning this one. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really 